Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michael Carbone, I'm a business and immigration attorney in Staten Island, New York. Today, I wanna go over a quick guide to a successful I-751 interview. I'm going to be covering common questions and how to prepare best for a successful interview. Now, before I dive into this topic, if you have any questions or you wanna start a conversation, please drop a comment below. Otherwise, if you'd like to set up a formal legal consultation with me, visit us at carboneattorneys.com. We have a button in the top right corner of our website. Click it, fill it out, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So if you are a conditional green card holder, that means your green card is only valid for two years, then you are subject to the I-751 process for removing the conditions on your green card. So with a conditional green card, within 90 days of the expiration of that green card, you do need to file the I-751 petition to remove the conditions on your green card so that you can get a full 10-year green card. In this video, I'm going to go over some tips common questions that are asked at the interview and how to best prepare. So the first point to mention in this quick guide is understanding how USCIS conducts the I-751 interview. So for the I-751 interview, you will either be interviewed together, meaning you and your spouse, or the USCIS officer will interview you separately. In a separate interview, the USCIS officer will separate the spouses and ask the first spouse one set of questions. They will then be asked to step out of the room. The other spouse will come in and the officer will ask the same set of questions to the other spouse. And the officer will be comparing the answers to make sure that they are at least consistent. Now, when it comes to this interview, don't be alarmed if the officer separates you it's really up to the preference of the officer. I would say most common, the interview is done with both parties in the room at the same time, but sometimes the officer may separate you. Next in this quick guide is what to bring to your interview. So number one, you wanna bring your interview notice. This is your pass to get inside the field office that is conducting your interview. So you wanna bring that with you and your identification. Next, you wanna bring the originals of anything that was submitted to USCIS with the I-751 application and one copy of all of your documents. That includes the evidences that you submitted for this case. You also want to include new evidence. So since the date of filing your I-751, new pictures, new bona fides of your marriage, maybe you've opened new joint bank accounts, maybe there's new insurance policies, anything new that has occurred since you've filed the I-751, you want to bring copies of that to the interview to provide to the officer. Next in this quick guide is just going over some common questions that could be asked at this interview. So the USCIS officer is going to focus on different aspects of your relationship. So they're going to discuss the beginnings of your relationship, your engagement, the, the marriage, ceremony, reception, etc., as well as uh, aspects of your life together. So what could these questions look like? You should know the answers to these questions. It might sound like, how did you first meet? Where did you go on your first date together? Who proposed to who? What happened after the proposal? Was there an engagement party? Who attended the engagement party? When was it? Where was it? When was the marriage ceremony? Was there a reception? Who attended the wedding? Who attended the reception? What do you do on holidays? How do you spend time together on the weekends? What are your spouse's parents' names? Does your spouse have any siblings? What are their names? Does your spouse have any children? What are their names, dates of birth? Anything that could possibly be asked about your relationship, the USCIS officer is going to ask. Now, the questions usually are not complicated and there isn't a set number of questions that the officer might ask. They could ask you five questions, they could ask you 25 questions. It's really up to the officer to ask the questions that they want based on the documentation that was submitted. If you have a very well-documented case, meaning 
you have enough photographs, you have enough evidences, affidavits, etc., they'll probably have less questions to ask. Whereas if your case is not well documented, you can expect probably a larger number of questions about your relationship. And lastly, in this quick guide, you want to organize all of the documentation that you'll be bringing to the interview in a way that is easily accessible by you. So go over everything with you and your spouse. Make sure you understand all of the questions on the 751 form and you've reviewed all of the evidences that you are submitting, and then you'll organize them in a folder, a binder, whatever is the easiest and best way to access these documents is the way you should set everything up. So at the time of the interview, if the officer asks for an, a document, whether it be an original or a copy, you have everything in your binder or your folder set up so you can reach in, pull it out, and give it to the officer when they, when they need it. When everything is well organized and reviewed in this way, you can avoid any delay, any nervousness, or anything that might come from shuffling through your papers if the USCIS officer asks you for something. So that's it. That is the quick guide to the I-751 interview. These are just some preparation tips and common questions that could be asked. If you like this video and you want to see more, please like, subscribe, and I'll keep making them.